<laughs> Hello, geriatric. I'm everyone. <laughs> That's not how it goes. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I haven't been sleeping. I'm geriatric. You're, you're you. And, um, yeah, this is the movie review, Gary, for uh, Star Wars Rogue One. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I haven't been sleeping well lately. I mean, you know, you have a YouTube channel, although God only knows why you would want to, you know, get involved in YouTube. Because, you know, you have computers that keep, weird things keep happening, and you take it in, and nobody knows anything, because why, why would they? It's, it's not like it's their job or anything. Oh. But you know, I, I, I'm I'm holding it together. I, I'm doing all right. I mean, I just feel that you know I'm doing I'm 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 I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> no, no, Gary. I'm, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I am. I am just fine. Okay. Oh, so um, it was Rogue One. Uh, quick. Who am I? Oh, geriatric. Oh, oh. Just excuse me for. Just a second, okay? Okay. I've calmed down a little bit. Gary, thank you. I'm okay. You don't, we don't, we, we need to do this. This was a big one. So, tonight it was Star Wars, uh, Rogue One. Uh, the standalone prequel, which was quite different. Uh, I'll get into that. Uh, the basic story is that uh, Jin Erso, who is kind of a wayward person, is recruited by the Rebellion because her father is actually one of the people who is instrumental in creating the Death Star. And her, along, along with her and a few other rebel outcasts, they decide to steal the plans for the Death Star. Now, this movie is interesting in Star Wars because this movie is dark. And I'm talking very, very dark. Um, to the point where I don't even know if you if you have kids, uh, younger kids, maybe five, six, who like Star Wars. I would caution you to take them to this film. Um, this is not to say it's a bad movie. It is a, actually a phenomenal movie because it does something that a lot of the other Star Wars films didn't do. Uh, when you watch these as a kid or even as an adult, um, you have a very a, a very set thing about the Rebel Alliance and the Empire in the six films. Uh, Rebels good, Empire bad. This movie kind of turns that on its head. You start finding out that there are very militant factions of the Rebel Alliance who the Rebel Alliance is not okay with. These are people who see death and destruction of the Empire as the number one goal and they don't care who gets involved or who they have to kill. Um, one of the most interesting characters was, um, this was the only thing is, I had a real hard time, um, remembering s some of these characters. Um, uh, it, for a rebel person by the name of Cassian Andor, um, you see a side of the rebellion who you've never seen before. These are assassins these are saboteurs and people who while they have a good cause in joining the rebellion are very dark and but necessary things to the rebellion and that was something i really liked about this movie it does it d black it takes the black and white out of it there is a gray area yes you're fighting for freedom and yes you are doing this against a quote unquote evil empire but what is the cost of that? There are people who you might have to kill or who will die in your pursuit of bringing down this empire. So that was a question about what, at what point in a, even a righteous insurgency, do, what lines are there? Are there any lines? Um, Jen is played by Felicity Jones, who does a wonderful job. This is a girl who we are led to believe has been on her own since she was like 10 and she's very hard and very uh street smart and worldly and can handle herself but there is a softer side to her especially with in regards to her father um 
My favorite character in this, and actually I was kind of surprised, it replaced BB-8 as my favorite droid of the entire series, and that is K-2SO, uh, voiced by the wonderful Alan Tudyk. The, he is an Imperial droid who has been uh, reprogrammed to work with the Alliance, and he has no filter. And he will tell you exactly what he thinks. And he is just fantastic. He gets the best lines, a lot of laugh lines, and just a very great character. Um, one of the most interesting things, and uh, I didn't know about this going in, is is the use of CGI to bring back characters from the original Star Wars New Hope. Uh, the first one is, of course, uh, Grand Moff uh, Taken, played by uh, the wonderful late uh, Peter Cushing. And it is amazing how far we've come with CGI, because this is a character. This isn't a guy we just see over to the side, or he talks, he interacts with other characters and he's fantastic. Uh, the guy who did his voice is almost perfect and he's not the only one. I won't spoil a lot of it but for Star Wars fans there's a lot of callbacks and some some of them are like okay it's this character but some of them are not and you have to kind of be like oh wait a minute that's su such and such. Um, uh, this was directed by Garth uh, Edwards, who directed the uh, great uh, recent Godzilla movie. And he does a wonderful job. As I said, this is a movie that is taking something that might even be a little distasteful to people and showing you how real the struggle is. Because while we have seen the destruction in A New Hope of Alderaan and everything like that, this movie makes it more personal. These are characters that you grow to care about and during the third act of the movie, they are put in an almost impossible situation. Um, as I said, dark. This movie, as I said, I don't want to spoil anything. This has always been a no-spoiler review. But this is dark. Um, it, um, you know, a lot of questions have always been, what is the darkest Star Wars movie? Uh, Empire Strikes Back or Revenge of the Sith? This, this movie makes those look like a day at Disneyland. Because, as I said, you walk out of that theater and there is no smiling or, oh yeah, it was a Star Wars film. It's just like that. It's a, as I said, it's a very good movie, but as I said, leave the kids at home. I don't care if they're Star Wars fans. If they're young, don't bring them in because you're going to have to have a lot of conversations on that ride home about certain things that are brought up in this movie. So yeah, check it out. It is a... A remarkable thing because as I've said before in some of these reviews I don't like prequels and but this one was great because it was something that was I mean it wasn't even mentioned it was just told in Star Wars hey we got the plans for the Death Star and this just tells you okay how did we get these plans and it just as I said there's a lot of you know great characters there's a lot of action and but as I said it's it's a movie that if you have younger kids uh, keep them at home because this movie, um, as I said, is dark. I, I know I keep repeating that, but it is. That is the word that comes to mind. This movie is dark. So, but yeah, if you're a Star Wars fan, you're an adult, please go see this. This is It's a fantastic movie. Um, it's a good addition, and I can't wait to see what other standalone Star Wars films Disney and LucasArts have up for us. So, uh, this is Geriatric, and I'm, Gary, I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. My, I, you know, I, I compose myself. So this is Geriatric reminding you that if you're not going to the movies, that what did did we just lose power? What what the hell is going on around here? Hello, anybody? What the hell is? Oh God! It's here! It's here! You know, Gary, you've done a great job this past week.